My name is Emil Wulpap, and I'm a professor of molecular and cellular physiology at Yale. I'm also the director of medical studies and the director of graduate studies at the same department at Yale. A lot of things will change over the years as you train a young medical student, particularly modes of treatment, ways of approaching patients. What doesn't change as much, or at least will only expand, is our fundamental knowledge of where does disease come from, what goes wrong, and how does it occur. And that's the basic science that you should give them early on and that actually will only expand. This book is something that has been a very long gestation. Uh, the very first edition took Walter Boron and me seven years. That's just to tell you how much work it took. And the stress of the book is actually on exactly the new biomedical science at the cellular and molecular level. Um, by not forgetting, of course, organ and systems physiology at the same time, but integrating it. And over the years, I think we have kept this balance from edition to edition as well. The classical book of physiology goes over from system to system and over every single organ. Uh, we try to do this too, but we try to actually show that we open the black box, rather than just saying this does that, has this effect on that particular organ, why does it have them? How does it do it? And the how means very often a cellular and molecular mechanism. Rather than saying it interacts with the receptor and it has an end effect, we actually go over the whole transduction post the receptor all the way to the, mo to the molecular level. I think our book tries to do much more of that than, than other texts. Well, first and foremost, of course, medical students would have a great benefit from this. Uh, although there are medical scho schools that are de-emphasizing this kind of approach, unfortunately. We see that in some countries the book is doing much better because precisely they are emphasizing the basic science far more. Uh, I think a trend towards visiting, for instance, every organ once in medical school whereby you do an integrated presentation of the cardiovascular system once, from anatomy to surgery, including medicine, that telescopes physiology very often. And so I'm certainly in favor of having a thorough visit of the basic science in one cycle and in a second cycle, revisiting for the clinical uh, studies. So our book actually is particularly attractive to medical students, but also to undergrads. At Yale, I teach a course together with the biomedical engineers that is addressing the needs of senior students in biology. And a large number of those seniors are pre-med. And there is a possibility that in the future, increasingly our book will be attractive to these pre-meds who perhaps will not have as much physiology anymore in their actual first year medical school. So I think that may be a promise. Then there are, of course, also the allied health professions. Our book is used in the Physician and Associate Program at Yale. I understand that the veterinary school at Cornell is using our book. And just to tell you that medical physiology can be used in other contexts than the human body as well. The book is at first glance, a multi-author book. Dr. Bohr and I, we edited it, but we are more than editors. We are editors who rewrite major parts of it. Uh, every single sentence is looked at, is edited, is changed. So much perhaps to the despair of our individual authors, this is actually written by a single hand, single hand being actually two hands, my colleague Walter and me.